Hi guys, it's me, Tifa Tyson, and yeah, I know I said I was going to videotape um, some of my time here, but I actually decided to vlog on the last day that I'm um, house sitting slash dog sitting for a friend. Um, so if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys have already met Evie. You're so cute. We love you. We love you. She's like, don't look at me like that. Yeah, so I'm uh, just kind of chilling on my last day, getting the house kind of like clean for the people to come back, and just kind of chilling here with Evie. So, so on my last day here, I decided to take you guys with me on a W-A-L-K. Um, but yeah, just to kind of chat about a few things. So follow me. Hi guys. So I was going to take you with me on my usual walk, but um, usually I go in the cemetery and I didn't really quite feel okay with taking you guys to the place where people have laid their loved ones to rest. Um, but yeah, I did want to take you guys with me on a little bit of a walk uh, where I used to to walk a lot um, when I used to live in this area. This week has been relatively relaxing. Um, just basically been walking the dog three times a day and then take a run like a mini walk. Uh, so basically I'm outside four times a day. I've also been riding my bike a lot and you know that's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been hard with my ankle or not my ankle, my foot, because my foot's been like really uh, just kind of achy. It's worse when I like run, um, but walking on it a lot doesn't actually actually necessarily feel that great. But um, I see an orthopedic surgeon, and the orthopedic surgeon said that um, walking is okay, so I walk. I don't know about you guys. This is for my posse friends out there. But any of you guys that have had struggled with dysautonomia or have had any like stroke-like symptoms type stuff, I was wondering, do any of you guys have reflexes or, and or how are your reflexes? Um, since 2008 I've noticed that I have no reflexes in the left side of my body. Um, the only place that you can find a reflex is in my left foot. And it's just like barely there so that's not that fun um but yeah so i mean it's so funny when the doctor comes in and they do like reflex tests they always come in and it's always like one doctor that does a reflex test and then they look at it and there's like no reflex so then they get another doctor and there's no reflexes and then they get another doctor and it's just kind of hilarious so yeah that's my question to my posse this autonomia EDS peeps, how are your reflexes? Hi guys, I'm heading back. It started to rain, so I'm taking you guys back with me. It's raining, and I'm going to do the rest of the vlog from inside, because it is just really raining. Okay. Look who's happy to see me. Someone's happy to see me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hi! 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 Okay, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming! She's so excited! Coming and coming, honey! Yay! Evidence that you get on the couch. So, I decided to do the rest of the vlog from inside because I was looking at the footage and some of the footage was like really shaky. So, I didn't want to make all of my posse peeps and the EDS peeps. Uh, feel sick and dizzy. So I decided to do the rest of the vlog from inside. So partly what we were talking about is television shows and what's your favorite television show. Um, from, you know, past to present. So some of my favorite TV shows, we'll start with present actually, is I like Grey's Anatomy, um, Downton Abbey, who doesn't, um, and, um, this other show called Touch, which I just really like. It's really interesting. It's about this guy, uh, it's Keith or Sutherland plays the dad, and he has a son who's autistic. But come to find out, the kid is really into numbers, and I mean really into numbers. And you find out that 
the kid's actually a genius because all of these numbers connect to dip and tell him and the dad like things that are going to happen in the future and so the kid is trying to communicate to his dad different stuff that's going to happen so he can save people's lives and it's, it's really interesting and it's like all of these people are like connected and weird but it's really really cool and so I think that comes out in October or November again I've already seen the uh, touch season one but I, I can't wait to watch season two so interesting um so those are the shows that I watched today um some of the ones that I watched way back in the day number one if you know me you know that I love Murphy Brown Murphy Brown's my favorite show. Uh, for those of you youngins out there that don't know what it is, uh, Murphy uh, Brown was an 80s, early 80s, late 80s, 90s show. And it was about this, um, this lady who, um, who was a news reporter. And she had spunk, she had chutzpah. I just loved that. So that was my one of my other shows. Some of the um, honorable mention shows are like um, Laverne and Shirley. She writes her L's just like I write my L. Um, uh, one Day at a Time. Love that show. Um, and for those of you guys that like CSI, the CSI back then was things like Columbo. That, that, that guy was awesome. He was a detective. Um, and also Quincy. I can't remember if Quincy was like a coroner or a, or a, I don't, I just, or like a doctor. I couldn't figure it out, but he always seemed to know about medicine, but then he always seemed to, um, to, uh, solve crimes. And also, he was in The Odd Couple. Awesome show with Tony Randall. Uh, so, yeah, he was doing double duty. But the awesome, awesome um, guy besides Perry Mason, because Perry Mason, he was, a, he was a lawyer, I think. He was a lawyer. He was pretty good. But this dude, nobody had, nobody has anything on Kojak. That man was awesome. Okay. He basically was like bald, looked like Mr. Clean, except he had like shades and he was rocking it. And the funny thing is, is that whenever I watched Kojak, I never really saw him do anything except towards the end when he'd like punch the perp in the face or something like that. Or, or he'd like take off his glasses and be like, I'm Kojak. He was, he was all bad. He was kind of like, like Shaft. He was like the shaft of detecting. Um, he was pretty. He was pretty awesome. So those are some of the shows that I like to watch. What are some of the shows that you like to watch, past and present? So if you guys have any questions or comments, you can go ahead and leave one below. Below. And if this is your first time watching, thanks for joining. And you can go ahead and subscribe up top to see more videos by me. Um, and also another thing that I always forget to uh, mention this, but if you guys want to leave any video responses especially some of my friends that I haven't heard from in a while, please go ahead and leave a video response. You can also do that below as well. And it'd be a really good way for me to get to know you better, know what's going on, and in case, you know, you don't have enough room to write everything down that you want to write, it'd be cool and everybody could watch it. So, uh, go ahead and leave video responses. Well, uh, that's it for me. I gotta go continue cleaning the house and chilling and hanging out with the pup. But, um, hope all is well with you guys. Peace out.